guys, and welcome to Dennessy playing Tectum, uh, which is a, a actual word, which means building in Latin. It's kind of awesome. Uh, this is episode one. Uh, if you caught my last episode on Vanilla Survival, uh, you probably know that uh, I booted up a new world we were gonna play there but what you don't know is what issues I had after I booted that world um, Wow this area is surrounded by extreme hills that is awesome not what I want but I do have this spawn location at least so I have it written up uh, the few issues I got with that world uh, wasn't exactly with the world itself, it was more that uh, I tried to... There's a jungle over there! Awesome. That is fantastic. Oh, finally a jungle in my world. <laughs> uh, a bit, a bit, a bit of, what was I saying? Um, yeah. Uh, I got a issue where I tried to boot up the... Um, I didn't try to boot up. What am I talking about? I tried to record uh, the first episode. I got diamonds. I got a nether portal up and going. I got a base. Uh, and when I finished recording and we're going to go and edit, I realized one terrible nightmare. A recording software... Hadn't been recording anything. And that was because it has a, it had a message. It wanted to update, which I didn't notice when I booted it up. It got it after I minimized. Went back into the game. And, oh yes, awesome. And went into the world. Got our recording. I pressed my hotkey for record. I... Walked about like I normally do. I did my things. And I hadn't done anything. I hadn't recorded. Because of that message. Which blocked me from being able to use the hotkeys. Awesome. Right? So I went in to record a new episode. Uh, we're not going to be staying here for long, by the way. Awesome. Awesome. That's, that's kind of cool. Thank you. And, thank you. Uh, we're gonna stay close by though. Like, maybe right over there. Maybe right over here. Maybe, maybe I will go over here and have, uh, to the plains right there and have the, uh, jungle biome in the background. That could be cool. Maybe. Um, kind of in the middle situation area going here. Is there any more sheep here? And then I went in to record a new episode. Tried to get a bit better stuff. Uh, so we did a whole lot more stuff. Uh, had a whole lot of fun. I think this is a great area. I think this is a really great area, right? Like, uh, we have the jungle here. We have... Is it Mega Tiger or just Tiger? I think it's just the Tiger. Tag over there, we have extreme hills there, we have extreme hills there, and we have a village right there. It's kind of cool. Um, I think that's a great way to do it. I think this is going to be the location to build. Um, so I recorded, everything went fine. It did record. And um, I had some great fun in that video. And then I went into edit. It loaded in fine. I started to edit. I spent about 30 minutes on the first out of four clips. And, um... Wow, that's that's burning. There. We're gonna lose the forest. We're gonna lose parts of it. That's okay. I'm gonna go in and repair what gets ruined. Anyway. Um... And while we were editing... Uh, the program suddenly crashed, 
software suddenly crashed, uh, and I had to force close it uh, through the I don't remember what it's called the C control C control Alt Delete uh, through that, and um, then I went in to try to edit again. It crashed again. I uh, restarted my computer, went in to, um, to edit again, and the footage were, were broken. The first 10 minutes were suddenly corrupt. That was so much fun. Uh, I, I needed that that day. Uh, you know what? We're gonna have a black bed. Because that's what's the most of it here. Oh, he's gray. Oh, wait, there's a black one. There's two black ones. Okay. No white ones, though. There we go. That's good. Um, so, that episode became corrupt. So, I started to think, hmm. Maybe it's the world. Maybe I shouldn't record in that world. So, when I uploaded uh, the last vanilla survival episode yay yes today for me yesterday whatever um when i uploaded that one it i mentioned in the description the world we are using may not be the one we're actually using in um in the new series um which i think is justified uh because uh I, I'm kind of superstitious about these kind of things. Um, if something won't work the first time, or I can do something about that. I, I can work around it. If it doesn't work the second time, I'm starting to get a little bit suspicious. Uh, that there's something telling me, not this one. Not this. Uh, and then I might not try again. On that world, uh, especially if it's just the beginning, like it was, um, like uh, I, if I had ten episodes in that world, if I had twenty episodes in that world, I wouldn't give up. I I would keep on going, uh, like I did with Vanilla Survival. Uh, I had lots and lots of issues with that world. Uh, I I don't even want to think about how many issues I had. Because uh, that was a whole lot of issues, and not so much. Uh, most of the time in between episodes that I spent the last three months uh, has been issues that I've been trying to work around, and trying to figure out, and trying to get to know the softwares I'm using and that kind of stuff. Because most of most of the issues are my fault. It's it's really because of the, um, the softwares themselves alone. It's uh, usually wrong usage of what we have, right? And I'm aware of that. I, I know that I am the one who's been doing faults, doing wrong, doing things the wrong way. And I've been learning, and um, now that I'm fairly confident in what I'm doing, I, I'm i not 100% confident in everything I do, but I'm more confident now than I was three months ago about the technical stuff. And um, also, when, it, when it's the first episode, and it's a world that I just previewed, for a short amount of time in another series i don't think it's too big of a deal to change the world so that that's that that's that issue out of the way um another thing i kind of want to address is let's see i just want to make a couple of things here there there, mm -hmm. there. another thing i kind of want to address is um modding misfits which is another series I've had for a little bit of a time. Um, 
it was a server where we were first off playing FTB what was it FTB oh I can't remember but it, it was a FTB in 1.7.9 I want to say um I can't remember my mind is blank I, I can't remember uh we were first off having a FTB mod pack and then we went over to having our own mod pack which we created oh, Uh, then we went over to making our own mod pack and we were hosting it playing on it and i had a series on it and uh, that series is not gonna be continued and that is uh, because uh, the hosting site for the server uh, crashed no updated the this hosting site updated and um it went and the server itself crashed and uh, our server lord manager he could not get it working again um, I, I, I don't really know the whole issue but um, he couldn't do anything about it uh, so we had to start a new server and a new world and we decided that we are gonna wait for a little bit on doing on continuing on the mod pack on a mod pack um, until we can um, either uh, I'm not gonna spoil too much but either we're gonna make a new mod pack at some time I'm not completely sure when or even if we're gonna do it uh, but uh, either that or we're gonna wait until there's a mod pack we haven't played that comes out and we want to play I think it was something like that um, I'm not 100% sure but uh, I believe it was something like that um, so modding misfits is no longer a thing, uh, kind of a, a unforeseen ending there, <laughs> uh, which is um, it's fine. Uh, I started to feel like uh, playing vanilla, uh, and I'm also still working on my mod pack. Just FYI, I'm still working on it, and um, it's not going. As fast as I predicted so it's going to be a couple of months until MM percent annihilation is out um, because there's so much I have to do with it uh, before I can release it uh, there's so many quest lines I need to set up uh, there's a um, couple of configs I need to double check and maybe even change and a lot of recipes to change so uh, I wanted it to be out in February I believed I was gonna be able to do that but I'm not gonna be able to do that not when I am starting to record every single day again and uh, trying to release a video every single day again um, I was supposed to post this video um, on the same day as Vanilla Survival ended as well, but um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to do that. And this episode isn't even gonna be us building anything, it's just gonna be collecting stuff uh, because I want this episode out. If the editing goes fast, then we're gonna do it. And um, yeah. So that's another thing out of the air. Now I want to talk about this series. Now I want to talk about Tectum and what is gonna what what it's gonna be about. What what's the plan? And um, I already talked a little bit about it. And uh, one of my plans is 
I, I believe I mentioned it. Um, kind of lost right now. I, I, I haven't slept tonight. I've been doing stuff for Minecraft series and that kind of stuff. I'm sorry about that, but um, oh, got a new tree there. But what am I doing? You see, you see, I haven't slept. I'm so sorry. Um, let's see. We're gonna get that. This is a big one, isn't it? Awesome. Uh, and one of the one other change than enchantments. Uh, wait, did I even mention that? I think I mentioned it earlier. Uh, but I'm gonna mention it again just in case. I'm not gonna be able. Uh, I'm not gonna be allowed to um, make. I'm gonna be able. I'm gonna be allowed to make an enchantment table for decoration. But I'm not gonna be able, uh, be allowed by myself to actually use it. The way to get enchantments in this series is to use the villagers. Create a villager breeder. And we like that because I think uh, having a little bit more of a challenge than just experience points. Also, it's going to save us some experience points as well. Um, is to do it like that. I think that's a awesome idea. I'm not going to be allowed to use a AFK fishing farm either. So that one is... Uh, yeah. So that, that's one rule, Th that's the one rule that I have in this world, um, oh, and also don't cheat. Don't cheat stuff in, of course. Um, so that is kind of the um, rules I have for myself. No cheating, at least not um, cheating stuff in, like materials, and um, not using the enchantment table. I'm gonna make you uh, some for decoration. But not for enchantments. Okay. Uh, and another thing that I have in this world is I have gone and stalked the hermit craft crew for a little bit I have more mob heads I think meaning that um, when I kill a mob there's a little bit of a chance that I can get its head um, and also I have a resource pack um, which is Vanilla Tweaks from Sesuma Void. Like I said, I've been, um, uh, I have been, uh, stalking the Hermit Craft crew. Uh, not because I'm looking to copy their things, but because, or the recipes for how to play. But because uh, I think that having the mob heads, the mob heads at least, is an awesome future, uh, which I've been wanting in Minecraft for a really long time. I want to use them for um, decoration and that kind of stuff. And uh, now that I actually have a way to getting them, I'm going to use it. It's been out for some time, uh, but I think I also did it in another world that I had a while ago uh, on Simply Survival, I think, uh, which was the pre predecessor, is that the right word, predecessor, of Vanilla Survival. Um, and uh, those worlds taught me a couple of things, um, and I'm grateful to both simply survival and vanilla survival, respectively. But uh, this is. I hope this is gonna be the world we're gonna stick with. Because I hope. Uh, I, 
I think that having an actual name for the series, like not just um, Minecraft 1.12.2 or um, Vanilla Survival, like I've had, uh, I don't think that's the right way to do it. I think. Not blow up. Not blow up. There we go. Okay, good. Uh, I think... I think it makes it a bit more interesting for a series to have an actual name. So I'm uh, I'm really looking forward to playing on this. And uh, I hope it's going to be really fun and uh, awesome for you guys who are watching as well. But I wonder why that isn't despawning. And I completely forgot about this. I should try to pick up everything I can here. Um, let's see. Yeah, that's good. We're getting a lot of wood. Is there anything more? Nope. Okay, let's take a sleep. Um, but yeah, uh, the resource pack, which I'm using, you can uh, customize it yourself. It's on System Avoid's um, website. And it does, it does different things for the different kind of things you want it to do. I forgot one log. Uh, for example, I've asked it to make the snow a bit better, uh, the blocks a bit better, um, the Corsair a bit better, the water, um, nether portals are going to be a bit more silent, dark oak wood is going to look a little bit different, um, there's a couple of other things, but I can't really remember what they are, a couple of sounds, um, the way the menu looks, the menu when you first open Minecraft, looks a little bit different. I have a different um, thing spinning around there. And, uh, yeah. I think that's what... Yeah, uh, there's a couple of things that is a little bit different with my series this time around. Uh, there's some actual rules to follow and uh, actual ways to do things. Uh, one of the things I want to do is I want to have this as kind of my spawn town. Uh, I can't remember remember what it was supposed to be called, but I have it written down on a page here. Um, pario, which basically means spawn uh, in Latin. And I think that my towns are mostly going to be named something which ha has an actual meaning behind it. Like I have, I have three towns, villages, which I have uh, planned out. I'm not going to spoil too much about them, um, but I have the names of them. I know what they're supposed to be doing in this world, uh, because um, every town except maybe the first one is going to have a purpose. Uh, and... Uh, I think that is a great way to do things. Let's see, we need... Sticks, and we need another pickaxe, and we have a lot of sticks now. Um, so yeah, all the towns are gonna have different um, things they're supposed to be doing in this world, and uh, I think that is a uh, having a little bit of a... Uh, I don't know what to call it. Um, story to it? Lore? I think that is a great way of building up a world. Uh, especially if you're gonna have um, several towns and or villages. And you want them all to have a sp specific thing. Um, that is their thing. Uh, that should be figured out before you actually start the town. And uh, in my case, having its purpose in the name, like it's named after its purpose, uh, is going to help me in remembering what it is it's supposed to be doing. Uh, having a little bit of torches is not a bad idea, to be honest. And the mining area is a bit far away, but that's okay. Uh, let's see, we're going to go ahead and take you. We're gonna go ahead and make one stack of torches, and we're gonna go ahead and do that, and that should be good. Good, good, good. Um, but yeah, I, I, uh, I'm pr 
probably gonna build um, a little bit behind the camera to kind of have no I I'm not actually I'm not gonna build behind the camera I don't want buildings to suddenly show up in the recording um, so this episode we're just kind of gathering some materials which we are going to be needing for uh, building and progression and the next episode I will probably have gathered a little bit more of uh, materials which I want to use in building. Uh, I'm uh, going to build in the same style I did in the recordings I couldn't have. <laughs> uh, because I, I thought it was a pretty interesting way of building. We're down only 20. We're probably going to have to turn a little bit that way. When we get down here uh, to kind of uh, find diamonds because I don't think they spawn in extreme hills so we're gonna have to turn a little bit to actually find some diamonds which is all good uh, I couldn't really have uh, mined them out with this pickaxe either way oh I were wrong can find diamond in this biome I haven't done that before. I were pretty sure I was right about that. But it turns out we're wrong. That's fine. Uh, pleasantly surprised. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, 12, 11, I think. Yeah. Let's see. Can we find any more iron down here? That would be great. Having some iron. Uh, yeah, this is another thing uh, the resource pack does. It calms down the diorite, andesite, and granite quite a lot. And um, it's not as busy. It's not as visually painful as it is in the default resource pack. I don't like how it is in the default resource pack, to be honest. It's... Um, Bit of painful, to be honest. That's okay. It's fixed now for me, at least. And uh, you can do the same. You can download the resource pack yourself. You can customize it. It's really awesome. I recommend you doing it. It's um, it's really awesome. Um, Zoom Avoid is awesome at those kind of things if you haven't checked him out i highly recommend you checking him out if you are into the mechanics of minecraft he is he's the one i go to <laughs> if there's any changes coming um and i want to actually understand it and not just guess what's happening you know uh i'm thinking we should probably have a little bit of a farm a little bit of food going but we should probably have a little bit more of iron to do that and uh i'm gonna get it after you i want you there we go and there thank you you served your purpose uh, we are gonna go ahead and fetch a little bit of iron and we are gonna have a blast we're gonna have good time uh, there is some iron right down here did we bring some cobblestone we did that's awesome um, okay this is a full mine but vein vein not a mine this is not a mine this is a vein um, oh okay that was all of them 11 that's not bad uh, we could, could also actually, oh, there's some more here. I'm gonna say no, no to more iron. There's also some diamond down there that I want to fetch. Hopefully we can get a diamond pickaxe and, um, I'm not gonna mine any obsidian this episode, to be honest, because that's just a pain. Yeah. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and fetch this. There we go. 
We have three diamonds and we are gonna mine out this entire vein because we can. Because that's a whole lot of diamond. Eight diamonds, that's awesome. Uh, so we're also gonna go ahead and get this dude. Thank you. We should be able to make a couple of awesome things now. That is awesome. I, I love that. Uh, we are gonna get that um, coal out of there eventually, but first, I wanna get back up here. I wanna get a couple of uh, tools up and going. I wanna get some, uh, I wanna get a bucket. I want to get a new pickaxe, and I want to get a new. Oh, because we're 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 gonna need, we're gonna need it, you know. Let us get over here, as ASAP. There, there. We are gonna go ahead and get these guys. We are almost out of time for this video, uh, sadly, uh, but um. Because this is now the fourth day, I think. Let, let's double check it. Uh, let's see, day and th third day. Which means that I have been playing for about 30 minutes, give or take. Uh, but I first off want to get a little bit of a farm up and going before we finish off. I think we're gonna finish it off and I'm gonna just make the farm off camera. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy it, don't forget to hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. And uh, most importantly, don't forget to have an awesome day. And I will see you guys in the next episode. Okay. Bye-bye.